On February 6, Twitter user Rogame, Rojame, Rogame, reveal code names for AMD chips in latest macOS beta. This literally sparked a storm of speculations and prediction about potential switch of Apple from Intel to AMD. Let's face it, AMD processors are consistently having performance and efficiency leaps, while Intel has been struggling to keep up and failing to deliver their chips on schedule. With all the rumors and anticipations around, it's easy to lose touch with reality. While Apple yesterday announced the latest refresh of its 13-inch MacBook Pro lineup, the big change is still coming. However, I'm here to share with you five reasons why Apple will not switch from Intel to AMD, at least not anytime soon, after the intro. Hi guys and welcome to MD Tech Channel. My name is Marco and this is your weekly fix of news, leaks, rumors and opinions. Everything about Apple products and their competitors. Let's start with the main subject. First thing, Intel is no doubt still leader on the market. AMD may be increasing their market share and there is no doubt this trend will continue under successful leadership, yet Intel is still holding a huge portion of the market share. Let's take a look the numbers from 2019. AMD managed to reach 32% of the market, although Intel is manufacturing in different segments. One of the biggest is data centers, where Intel absolutely dominates, holding 95% of the market, which is outstanding. So, in terms of profit, Intel is way ahead of AMD. With so much income, Intel can afford to make changes, to adjust, and make necessary risks until it's ready to compete or to become fully on pair with their competitors. Second, Intel processors are still powerful enough. With massive improvements, AMD surpassed Intel. They run over 10 nanometers and reach 7 nanometers production node, starting with Epic Rome, thanks to their partnership with TSMC. While Intel was having difficulties leaving 14 nanometers manufacturing process, still, even with fantastic AMD multi-thread performance, Intel still holds the ground in single threads and in gaming. Besides, Intel attempts to reach 10 nanometer process till the end of 2016 have failed, which backfired at them, so they were forced to start over. Third, Apple is developing their own in-house processors. It's been a couple of years already since we started listening rumors about potential desktop notebook class CPUs designed by Apple. Apple has been designing mobile processors for some time. However, on 2017, with the release of iPad Pro and its processor A9X, it was obvious that Apple is ready to compete and challenge everyone else on the market, including the big guns like AMD and Intel. So far, it's confirmed that Apple chips are coming. It's no secret that Apple wants to deliver a whole package, hardware and software. With design of their own GPUs and CPUs in-house, this will almost be complete circle. The fourth thing, Apple cannot afford not to be cautious. Apple's transition from PowerPC to Intel 15 years ago was risky and hard, but eventually turned out to be successful. Intel may have issues for some time, but MacBook and Mac sales have been steady, which doesn't mean it's efficient for Apple. Unfortunately, making transition from Intel to AMD while simultaneously designing your own chips for desktop and notebooks, even if Intel is struggling, Apple will be just fine until they release their own processors. Now, if Apple is not able to deliver high-end desktop processor, and in the meanwhile, Intel performance does not improve, Apple must be ready, and therefore, it's not gonna surprise me or anyone else if Apple continues to develop code that includes AMD chips. To summarize, if Apple is capable of developing a chip that can outperform anything on the market, Apple doesn't have to choose any. And finally, time and resources are still on Intel's side. With such a huge market share and income that's being generated consistently from year to year, Intel is still the big daddy of the industry. 
While they can be a few generations behind TSMC, it's most likely they're already on the peak of their struggle. Intel estimates they'll achieve process parity with 7 nanometers till the end of 2021 and eventually take over the lead on 5 nanometer. If Apple doesn't make some big changes with Mac OS, Intel will be ready in case Cupertino Giant decides to extend partnership. Now, what do you think? Will Apple switch completely their own processors or they will continue their partnership with Intel? Or will they move from Intel maybe to AMD? Please write in the comments below. If you like this video, press the thumbs up and share it with someone else. And if you prefer this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and click notification icons so you don't miss the next episode. Thank you for watching and have an excellent day. Bye.